I'm in Sound and I saw Ice Pirates. It is directed and written by Stuart Raphael. And if you've seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This is requested by Patreon. If you like a fast track of movie review, you can do that at patreon.com slash ASPresents. On with the review. This movie starts and we're following a fictional world where this one specific faction has all the ice in the galaxy. First of all, question if one people have all the ice now all these people are selling this ice which means ice is more expensive this movie doesn't necessarily establish the economy of selling all of this ice all it does show is that there's like a bunch of ice pirates who go into this base and they try to steal some ice and they do that they're successful but you know you got those people who own the ice they're going after these ice pirates, and these ice pirates get caught. The world is really fun. I like the grittiness of it. I think it was either the fact that I watched a lower quality version of it, or maybe it's how it looks, but it looks pretty gritty to me. The overall aesthetic I would describe as very gritty. Not so much steampunk, it's a little punk, but you know, not really punkish neon space theme with a little bit of grit it's such a weird aesthetic i don't know if i necessarily like the aesthetic very much it's weird to me it definitely doesn't scream like star wars or star trek it kind of screams something in the middle like somebody's adaptation of what they think the grittiness of space would look like and i like it because yeah, it fits the name Ice Pirates. But anyway, there's this one guy who's part of the Ice Pirates. He's like, look at that lady. I'm gonna wake her up and I'm gonna kidnap her. I'm like, uh, why? Also, <laughs> you got these guys, they'd be like, oh, come on again. I'm like thinking, how often do you do this, dude? How often do you raid this planet or raid other planets and kidnap the ladies there how often are there ladies to kidnap at the places that you're stealing from also if they're ice pirates aren't they pirating ice has this happened before where he's been stealing her because when they say oh again i'm like wait again in what instance just like he likes to steal ladies do you guys steal things other than ice uh, the dialogue isn't the clearest, but it is a really fun universe. The movie doesn't really explain it very well, but the lady gets an affinity to these captors, and so when these captors get captured by these ladies' people, then she's like, actually, I'm gonna buy them, and then she buys them, and then... What? Why? Oh, because she wants to be taken to her father. Her father was in search for this water planet, and you know how ice is such a valuable resource they they want to look at this water planet and end the monopoly also i have so many questions such as how much does water cost how much does ice cost does ice store well how cold is it on the inside what happens when the ice melts do you have a container for the ice i mean this seems like a pretty simple easy solution for ice melting is to have a container oh my goodness <laughs> How do you measure the ice? It kind of just moves on to the next thing. And the next thing is they're trying to find her dad. And you got these guys being like, you capture her. And they're like, no, it didn't. Oh, actually, she owns you now. Cool. This world is really confusing. I should say I knew what was happening for like the first 20 minutes. And then they became slaves and then got bought off. I understand that. And then she wanted to follow her father's tracks to find this planet and that's what they're doing now and they go through trials and tribulations to figure out where this planet is but guess what the planet is earth when i say trials and tribulations i mean a lot of activity on screen and you know it was fun the dialogue is fun i like the world building of this i just have so many questions and by the end of it i'm like none of it's answered cool you found a water planet you found earth how cool is that can someone please explain to me the economy of ice pirates if you had one people taking all the ice for the entire galaxy then how are you able to explain the existence of people who need water to survive they're just buying water off of you how many people are alive 
if you're holding all the water like i feel like if you wouldn't be able to afford it you would die of dehydration and this movie doesn't touch up on any of my questions none of them whatsoever i guess it's cool though i like the action i like the outfits i like that chick she's a really cool amazing chick she decapitates people when they try to be like oh hey uh <laughs> look at this cool little sword i have and she's like oh really <laughs> decapitated so the violence is pretty cool it's a lot it happens unexpectedly i don't know what to feel about this movie it's fun but would i watch it again i'm not sure i mean ice pirates is a weird one what do you think of ice pirates let me know what you think of it in the comments below i gotta give ice pirates on one hand it's a cool world on the other hand i have so many questions so i think i'll give it a five a five not because i don't like it i just too many questions that are not answered for it but i like the universe it's a five solid five out of ten if you like this review watch another one on the platform or like that if you want to fast track a movie review you can do that for $20 dinos at patreon.com slash ASU presents and if you like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movies go to this link tree find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movies so you can go here and until next time I'm in salad sauce see you later my sour croutons and bacon bits